We're just going to go over a couple of details here. All right? Take my space. Start working my way off. Come back underneath. All right? Elevator. Up. Okay, whichever way we want to go. Then we get to here. So, first things first. Okay? I don't want my body super long. Okay? If I'm, doing, if I'm trying to heel hook her and I extend her leg, the longer her leg is, the more flexible it is. Right? So I'm trying to stay as crunched as I can. My head is close to my nose as I can, or um, my head is close to my knee as I can. Okay? Second, if I can't seem to hook with my wrist, okay, and a lot of people don't even bother anymore, I'm gonna hook with my elbow, right? Up here. There we go. Okay? So I'm actually hooking her calf or her shin with my wrist. I'm gonna take my wrist and I'm gonna cross them over. Okay, in a butterfly grip instead of in a gable grip. Cool. That tightens her leg to my body. Now as I twist, I curl towards her as I turn up. Okay? Not extend away and stretch her leg out, which allows her to start escaping. Does that make sense? Okay. Are you late? No. Do that. So if I can't get back far enough, his leg is too long. Going to that wrist is too much, or you got long arms. I'm just gonna hook with my with my elbow here. There, cross my wrist. Okay, not even squeezing yet. Cool. Long. I'm curling forward as I twist, keeping everything tight to me. Just like we would if we were doing a body lock to take somebody down. Yes. Good. Nice and slow. One, two, three.